this video I'm just going to show you how to do a very simple picture of toadstools a kind of autumn scene. I'm using the Claro in extender which is basically alcohol and I'm just going to put that into a jar like that. That will help the colour to spread out and I'm going to start with Santa Fe Red. It's a, a new colour for me and I'm just going to make the shape of some toadstools. You know those lovely red ones. Now look how that's spreading out really beautifully. I need to stop that now so I'm going to use a heat gun just to stop it going too fast. That's drying the ink. And once it dries it stops spreading. Now I'm going to use some yellow for the stalks. So a little bit of a line there. A little bit of a line here. Notice how it's spreading and it's going into the toadstool a little bit there. Well, I quite like that. I love the fact that they're quite transparent and you get these lovely shapes appearing. If you want to stop that happening, then a little bit of heat and heat gun or a hairdryer will stop it and I can actually make it almost reduce it going down like that. Now I'm going to use the extender, which is see-through. I'm just going to put some across here. So I'm wetting the Upo paper. This is Upo paper I'm using. If I add it to the yellow there, it will start moving. So that's the extender there. And now I'm just going to drop a few different autumn colours in here. So I've got coral. Watch what happens when I just dribble a, a dot a dot of coral on there. Look what happens, it spreads out, it's really exciting. I love these alcohol inks, they're so, such fun. I mean, a bit predictable, unpredictable even. <laughs> that is the Calabasa Orange. Uh, this is just gorgeous, it's copper. So shake it well. This kind of fizzes almost when I put this on. Look at that. Can you see that fizzing? I'm going to bring it closer to you so you can see what's happening. Kind of fizzing on the paper. I love it. Really exciting. So I'm just going to help this along now with the brush and let it spread out a bit. And look what happens as I use the brush. It sort of spreads that colour out a little bit. How about a few grasses here? Now because that yellow has dried, because I used the, uh, the heat gun on it, it's just a little bit coming out here. So the idea is to have a little bit of an autumnal scene. If I add this extender now, it'll push some of this colour away. Look, and get that lovely white line through it. You just have fun, enjoy it, you know, play around, do different things. If I add some of the extender here, we get some lighter lines here. I feel like we need a little bit of yellow in there, so uh, where's that gone? Here we go, golden yellow, really nice and bright. That's what I've got for the stalks. So I'll add a bit here on top of the colour. Of course you don't have to drop it in, I mean if you do you have a lot of colour as you can see uh, but you can just use it you know in a palette. Now we need some darker colour in here I think so I'm just going to add a little bit of black, a little bit there, Ooh, or a lot. <laughs> Look how that's extending out, fantastic, I love it. If you want to control it more then use the heat gun or a hair dryer but I'm just playing around seeing what we can get here you know it's really quite good fun sorry about that noise so I'm just spreading this colour out 
Now it's gone a little bit strong, so I'm just adding a bit of the extender to it. And the copper underneath is showing through a bit. Oh, no, it's gone. Look how those are, you know, spreading out in there. I'm really just playing around. I don't really know exactly what's going to happen. And that's the, the unpredictability of it is rather special. So I now need a little bit more of this Claro extender in there. And because I've got white paper underneath, I'm just going to clean this brush first and I'm going to drop some of this just little dots in here remember that they do you know get larger so watch what happens the magic of this to get these little dots all over my toadstools big dots little dots So the red is already dry, which is why it's taking quite a long time for those dots to appear. And then we've got this fantastic dark shadow around them. Really beautiful. A little bit down here to make a bit of light and shadow to make those stalks look a bit more interesting. Anything goes. <laughs> And I feel like we need a little bit more dark colour on here, so I'm going to use this. This is Bureau Brown. I've just bought these new colours. These are all new to me. Oh, look what's happening there. Spreading out. Gorgeous. <laughs> a few more grasses. You know, just adding more layers as we go along. And if I add this extender, I will get some lighter colours in here, bleaching it out. So I was just thinking very loosely of autumn and toadstools, but you know, I've got all sorts of things happening here. It's a great... Um, medium to experiment with. So a little bit more of the Santa Fe red. I feel it's quite nice there having that to go with the toadstools. And there we have it. A couple of toadstools in a very autumnal scene. I hope you've enjoyed that. There will be more to follow.